Welcome to Japan Issues. K. Kamuro on the precipice. Prince Akishino leaked his true feelings about taking the bar exam for the fourth time is unforgivable. Jose 7 Magazine. September 29th and October 6, 2022 issue. Perhaps it is Prince Akishino's wish out of concern for his daughter, Mako. Mako and K. Kamuro have received support from many sources both in their work and private lives. However, it is said that the supporters are losing their patience. Is it possible for the couple to continue their life in New York without overcoming the hurdles set by Prince Akishino? K. Kamuro is currently awaiting the results of his third New York bar examination, which he took in July. People probably got the impression that K. Kamuro had a relaxed expression on his face all three times, saying, even if I fail this time, there is always the next time, but apparently the situation is different this time around. An Imperial Household Agency source said, K. Kamuro is on the edge of a cliff. The source said, Prince Akishino, who has supported the couple's newlywed life behind the scenes, has told people around him that he cannot allow K. Kamuro to take the exam for a fourth time. If K. Kamuro is again unsuccessful, the couple's life in New York will finally come to a standstill. It is likely that it was just after the third bar examination that Prince Akishino revealed his feelings. It seems that Prince Akishino thought that the third time should be the last time he took the bar examination. Behind this feeling was the question. If he passes the bar exam for the fourth time or later, will he be able to work as a lawyer and gain the trust of those around him? In the first place, Prince Akishino has the belief that all occupations are equally honorable, there are no high and low. He is probably cold toward K. Kamuro, who is determined to become a lawyer and continues to desperately take the examinations. It seems that he feels that there is no need to force himself to become a lawyer. This is what the Imperial Household Agency source said. When K. Kamuro failed his second examination, he immediately contacted the representative of the law firm he had worked for when he was in Japan. However, there was no report to Prince Akishino of whether he had passed or failed the exam, let alone a report of having taken it. It was probably because of Mako's feelings rather than K. Kamuro's judgment not to report to his father-in-law, Prince Akishino. Even if that is the case, Prince Akishino's strong distrust of K. Kamuro is said to have been strengthened. This is what an imperial household agency source said. As Prince Akishino's feeling that K. Kamuro should not take the fourth examination is fully understandable, a source close to the imperial family said as follows. K. Kamuro is the man Mako believed in with her life, and yet he has repeatedly shown the exam results showing that his workability is not that high. So it is natural that Prince Akishino would feel heartbroken. In addition, Every time K. Kamuro takes the exam or fails the exam, he attracts attention, including from the international media. Needless to say, this has a negative impact on the entire imperial family. It is likely that Prince Akishino is not the only member of the imperial family who feels that he should not take the exam anymore. That is what an imperial household agency source said. According to the book which drew attention for containing a monologue by Prince Akishino himself, Prince Akishino once thought that it would be fine for K. Kamuro to remain as a paralegal. Mr. and Mrs. Kamuro are currently living with generous support. For example, a Ministry of Foreign Affairs official who is an old acquaintance of Prince Akishino has been appointed as Consul General at the Japanese Consulate General in New York. In addition, there is even a staff member in charge of the Kamuro family, who handles everything from visa procedures and housing referrals to arrangements for hairdressers and hospitals, as well as media restrictions on interviews. Of course, such an environment is in place only because of the wishes of Prince Akishino. However, considering what is on the mind of Prince Akishino, 
There is a possibility that such support will be cut off in the event that he fails to pass the exam this time. This is what an Imperial Family journalist had to say. According to the Imperial Family reporter, there is probably a substantial amount of financial support from the Imperial Family and the private assets of the Akishino family. However, if the support were to cease, it would be a desperate situation for Mako. Even though Mako has savings for the time being, they will reach their limits. Sooner or later, she will not be able to pay the rent for the apartment. There is a great possibility that they will be forced to move. But it is unlikely that they will give priority to low rent and move to a house with even worse conditions. If this happens, returning home will be an option. After returning to Japan, she will probably live quietly in a high-class apartment in Tokyo with full security, just like other former members of the imperial family who married ordinary men. This is what an imperial household journalist said. Mako's mother, Princess Akishino Kiko is also looking forward to Mako's return. The following is the conclusion of the written statement that Princess Kiko released on her birthday, September 11th. Although it is not possible for us to see each other in person at this time, I am taking care of the flowers in my garden, making an archway for the Banksia roses, and I hope that one day I will be able to walk slowly through the garden with my daughter. The members of the imperial family each have their own marks to distinguish their personal belongings. The Banksia rose was Mako's mark. That's all from the Jose 7 magazine. September 29th and October 6th, 2022 issue.